Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews for a special, impromptu, Ooh. exciting, hopefully teaser reaction. Nick here. Gabe, guy tone day, baby. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm so super excited. I'm super excited because we're going to be reacting to the teaser that just dropped for the family man. Now, you know, we're really, really, really quick. We discovered, uh, uh, I didn't realize it, just talking to Nick about it, all these great actors. We're talking about Pankaj, right? We're talking about, of course, my man Nawazid and Siddiqui. They were all in Ganza Wasper. You know what I mean, dude? And, and, and I tell you what, man. Um, I, I always mispronounce his name. It's Minaj, Ma I think. Minaj, right? Minaj Ban. Uh, Baj P, he was also in Gangs of Wasper. He was in the first one. He's the dad, you know what I mean? He had the shaved head, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, he yeah. had to shave his head because that. I'm not going to grow my hair back until I take care of this. Till I get revenge, till I get revenge. But there were so many great actors that came from there. And then they've given us Sacred Games, they've given us <laughs> Mizabar and Family Man. And all these shows are fabulous, dude. Dude, you had Rajkumar Rao from Gangs of Wasper. Like you said, Pankaj, the original one, right? Minaj, uh, Faisal for crying out loud, Ooh. your man. <laughs> I mean, you got all these guys, like you said, with these great names, perpendicular, definite, all this kind of stuff. And they went on and did all these great things. Family Man Season 2 is coming. I just looked it up on the internet. One site said it may drop. February 13th. I think that's what it said or something like that. So I don't even know if there's a definite date out there, but Amazon just dropped the trailer two teaser. It's a minute and seven seconds. I'm hoping it's nothing but gloriousness. It's 4k. We, we watched all of season one. We got a review for season one on this channel without wasting any time. Let's go ahead and check out this trailer. And then we can talk all about it afterwards. Gabe, tell me you're ready. I'm ready, brother. All right. So let's see what it's all about in three, two, one. Shri, where are you? Why aren't you answering my phone? <laughs> oh, she don't mess around. I'm angry with you, Baba. You really forgotten us. Oh, no. I know, Pa. Aap ke mama ke beech mein kuch problem chal hai. I'm not an idiot. I don't mean that you go चाइला तिवारी कहाँ गए बतू? पता है यहाँ टास्क में भी सब तेरे को बहुत याद करते हैं। We fear there's a dangerous coalition taking place, and we need you right now. Where is he at? Can I count you in? Really? What? Wait, wait, wait. Did that say 119? So as in, yes. as in January 19th? Ooh. Next week, the trailer drops. Just a trailer. Just oh, a trailer. Just a trailer. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that was okay. just a teaser. I mean, everyone's looking for my man, Shri. I mean, where? who knows where he's at? Obviously, he's out on mission. He's out taking care of this. Obviously, he said yes to his boss. He said, we need you right now. Right. I want to know what is the mission. Now, as far as I can remember from season one, the the overall issue was taken care of, right? I cannot remember if there was some uh, like after credit scene or some kind of setup for season two. Do you remember? Well, I know that they were able to stop the bomb, right, coming in the truck or whatnot. But somebody got away. I can't remember exactly who got away. It might have been the main dude they were looking for or whatever. Because remember, in season one, the thing is he's distracted because of his wife and his wife possibly being into this other dude. And his son is... His son's hanging around trying to be uh, finding you know, his gun for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like there's so much going on, right? The daughter's got a whole bunch of attitude and she's trying to deal with, you know, being a young teenager. I love though. I love the daughter so much. Cause she does not take crap from anybody. And that one guy tried to make a move on her. She's like, get out of here. 
bro, he's got all this going on. So they make a mistake. Bottom line, they make a mistake. They think that these guys that aren't terrorists are terrorists. And they were like, what were they trying to do? They were trying to sneak in uh, uh, um, food, right? Instead of into the mutton, they were trying to put meat in there or whatever in order to send it to that one minister's house. And, uh, and I think it was like the prime minister or somebody like that. But basically, they were trying to, they were punks, you know what I mean? I, we would call them activists over here or whatever. They were just trying to sneak some meat in there, and they weren't actual terrorists, but they thought they were terrorists, and he missed that because of what was going on. So obviously, that's weighing on him. Eventually, he does, through his ex, a, a, is able to right that wrong and find a real terrorist and stop the bomb. But somebody did go a getaway. I remember that much. So, oh, man. Well, this is the show, too, because, I mean, I'm, I'm getting confused, but I'm pretty sure this is the show where at that one episode they had found out that they were smuggling those those parts of those bombs right across the border. Like right, the right, right, defense, right. right? And they were doing one by one for, like, what, 18 months? They were collecting it in that shed, and then yeah. it was in that, that truck that he was able to stop, and it was going yeah. down. And it went down that hill. Remember, I mean, there was so much craziness going on. He brought in the girl that was like some girl from his past, like the agent girl that helped him out and whatnot. Right, 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 right. right. But then you have, I got to watch the last episode again because everything's going to come back to when I watch that last episode. Right. There was that fight between those two bad guys who had it out and they were sneaking around. I just can't remember how it ends. But let me tell you what that shot where he's sitting against the wall and he's got the smoke coming out when the guy's asking him, Are you willing to take the job? That was a sick shot. That was that was a good gangs of Wasper shot. That was the guy who had the shaved head who was the boss for some time. That was yeah. a sick, sick shot. You know, and it's funny because this is a different kind of show where I remember when we were watching, it was like, is it gonna work? Right. But one of the things about this show that's so interesting. It, is that when you see the secret agent shows or whatever, it's like they're unfallible, right? I think the one show that really kind of uh, put their personal life and family into it was uh, Keeper Sutherland and 24. And I used to love that show, 24. Show. You know what I mean? But let's be real. This is why they prefer if you're going to be a, a, a CIA agent or whatever, MI5 or MI6, whatever it is. If you're going to be one of those guys, they prefer you not to have a family because there can't be any distractions. There can't be, no, you missed the recital. There can't be, oh, your daughter's in labor or your kid just got suspended from school. You got to focus because you can't deal with that that you definitely can't be dealing with any jealousy of all oh, the the wife's with at, at a new job with some dude i'm jealous of you know what i'm saying and oh man i liked <laughs> dude I, it, it, it's definitely coming back after this short and that short, reminds me of that uh, that part too where he's he he uh, what's he he breaks in on a little lunch date they have him and his <laughs> homie is just sitting right there spying on her i mean this guy oh i love the drama uh, and I remember his homie was like, how much is this? <laughs> <I'm not paying. laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Dude, that was hilarious, man. Talk about the hardest scene from season one when the, those terrorists, where those guys are, bust up into that building. And you got all these guys that he's working with that are just falling down left and right. Remember that? Like the elevator scene and all that kind of stuff. I mean. Oh, yeah. The hospital. Yeah, it was rough. The, the hospital. Like the yeah. Hospital. Yeah. Yeah. And you like, had that oh. one guy who was like a straight out. I mean, he was on the good side, but he was like that soldier guy. And I mean, he got, you know, spoiler alert. He got taken out. And so, I mean, this show, honestly, I feel like uh, as far as Gangs of, I mean, not Gangs of Wasper, Merzapur and Sacred Games, I feel like this show kind of takes a backseat. We love ourselves some uh, Patel, Patel Lock, but not everyone was for that. I get it. I feel like this show takes a back seat, but this is a fantastic show. Every episode, I feel like the last two episodes, there was parts that kind of dragged on because I think they were turning one episode into two, which is fine. You want it to last as long as possible, but every episode ended awesomely. You had the music going on every episode at the end, which I absolutely love. It got me pumped up for the next one. I absolutely love this show way more than I thought I would. And we were coming off the um, the Sacred Games high, I think, when we got right. Family Man. Right. And so I'm super excited for this. This comes out like in a month. The trailer comes out in a week. I get some more Family Man. I love um, it. You know what? We did uh, – uh, um... We've been working on our top 10 that we're getting ready to drop of 2020 films. We should actually do our top 10 2020 series because series were really what got me through 2020. Most of the films, let's be real, were garbage. But yeah, what did we get in 20 in 2020? Uh, we got uh Mizupar, right? Um, season two. That was 
oh man, I was so excited when that co- when that came out, right? We also did it. It, it was uh, in 2020. We got Family Man. I, if I want to say right. Yeah. Well, when we watched it at least. It might have came out in 2019 or 2018, but we saw it in 2020. Right, right, right. And some really good series came out from The Boys too. To um, oh, uh, that other uh, uh, um, oh, from Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy. I think the series honestly were better than the films that came out in twenty twenty. Just saying, man. Okay, so real quick as we end this video, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to show us some love. Um, let us know what your excitement is for this show. We are so excited, and we will be there for that trailer drop next week. But, Gabe, I want to know. I'm talking about old school series. What is an old school series that you just remember watching over and over and over when you were a kid? I'm going to let you think about it because I got one that I absolutely loved, and you're not ever going to predict this one. I'm talking about Matlock, baby. I love myself for Matlock. That is a show right there. See, when you said when you were a kid, I was because as soon as you said series I've watched over and over and over again, two of them right away. Spe- Sopranos, Sopranos is just one of the classics, all right? Tony Soprano, my man Sil, you know what I mean? Like all those guys were awesome. Uh, Christopher with his walk, uh, uh, he he made the way he smokes the cigarette and the and his walk. I, I think the guy went the won the Emmy just that just for that, uh, and of course Breaking Bad. But man, as a kid, series that I used to watch over and over, over Star Trek, bro. I used to watch Star Trek religiously, bro. Captain Kirk was a man, you know what I mean, dude? Captain Kirk was a man, and oh, uh, that I actually bought season one when it came out on uh, Apple a long time ago, and I used to watch it. Savannah's like, "Why are you watching?" Because it's Star Trek, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I Classic. love it. I love it. You gave me an old school one. Well, guys, we're excited for you to check out this reaction. Let us know what you think. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is the way.